Hi and hello, I am Athena Pondian here. Welcome to the Anatomy for the Biomedical Engineers classroom. Today we are going to see the next fresh unit of the syllabus that is Human Skeletal System. So, what we are, what is the Human Skeletal System and what are the parts involved and what is the function and what are the numerical terminologies involved, all the things you are going to discuss. Come, let me start the class now. Human skeletal system. Of course, the skeleton is nothing but it indicating the bones. Okay, so it includes so many bones. Totally in our bed, there are 270 bones are present. This particular thing is turned into 206 during adultery. So, what is the need of uh, 270 is reduced to 206 during the adult is some of the phone bones are fused together. Okay, some of the bones are fused together. So totally for the adult, we have 206 bones in our human body. Okay, what is the purpose of this 206 bones? What is the need of this particular 206 bones? Especially for doing six main function. Please remember, this the six main function is the first thing is support. It will give the support to the internal organs. Especially we are going to see uh, uh, the rib cage. Just take an example of the rib cage. During the inspiration and expiration, the ribs will expand and relax, will expand and the shrink. We are, we are already saw in the respiratory system. So like that, so many systems include some of the supports. So that support can be given by this particular boards, that is skeletal system. Then the second thing is protection. Of course, it will protect so many internal organs. Best example is ribcage. It will protecting your heart, circulatory system and the respiratory system. And all the other bone will protect so many internal organs, especially your skull. It will protect your brain. So protection is the second important uh, function of this particular skeletal system. And the third is production. Your blood cells, your blood cells are produced here in this bones. So that is the main job. The protection of blood cells is the third important function of uh, human skeletal system and the fourth is movement of course we know that we have the arms we have upper arms and lower arms we need to move if you want to move our neck all the things the movements can be attained only with the help of this particular skeletal system this is the fourth function and the fifth function is endocrine regulation so many hormones are secreted in our skeletal system especially for doing so many functions so endocrine regulation the balance can be done by this particular skeletal system and then the last function is storage of minerals. So storage of minerals is nothing but there are so many chemicals like calcium. All the things will be stored here. So most of the required chemicals of the human body will be stored in this particular skeletal system. So this is the major function of the skeletal system. Because of these functions, we require 206 bones. Please remember. Okay. So storage, protection, production, that is a movement then endocrine regulation and storage of minerals. So this is the thing you need to remember, the six most important purpose of the skeletal system. This 206 bones are classified into two major divisions. One is axial, and another one is appendicular. Axis is the core of the particular body. So that is the main most important thing of our uh, uh, object is axis. According to the axis only, the movement, support, all the things will be, uh, happen. All the functionality is only depending on the axis of the system. If the axis is collapsing, then the whole system is collapsed. So like that, this particular axial bones are also having the stuff to protect the body and the next division is appendicular what are all the bones coming under the axial what are all the bones coming under the appendicular are the axial bones the main important axial bone is skull the second important axial bone is vertebral column the third important axial bone is ribs and associated bones, all the associated bones of these three. So these are all the axial bones of the human body. Of course, we know that skull, we know that that is in the brain. It is protecting the brain. And then this particular vertebral column that is projected away from the medulla oblongata. It will render, uh, tending towards the pelvic region, that is vertebral column. 
and then there is ribs ribs are present in the sternum region it will protect the heart and the uh, that is respiratory system lungs okay so these are all the things that is involving coming under the axial skeletal system what are all the things coming under the appendicular skeletal system so appendicular skeletal system especially your shoulder griddle shoulder griddle your pelvic griddle and the two upper and the lower arms please reason shoulder griddles are nothing but the shoulder region that will connecting the vertebral column neck region and the arms will be connected by the griddles called the shoulder griddles and pelvic griddles are nothing but in the hip region there are so many bones are there there are so many bones are there we are, we are going to see the internal anatomy that is extraordinary arrangements than the pelvic pelvic region especially that pelvic region is the next part of the appendicular bones then the last is upper and the lower arms so upper and the lower arms it includes elbow your femur your knee joints and thigh muscles thigh region bones all the things are coming under your upper and the lower arms appendicular bones in this particular 206 how many bones are coming under this axial how many bones are coming under this appendicular come let me see totally we have 206 bones are there okay in that the axial bones includes 80 bones please remember okay then the appendicular bones includes two i'm sorry 126 bones so in this this is the total amount this is the axial bones count and this is the appendicular bone count we know that what are all the things coming under axial and what are all the bone coming under the appendicular so ax and ap here we have skull here we have vertebral column here we have rib cages see how many skull is present how many skull bones are present as the skull bones include there are so many joints are there there are different lobes in the brain right so each and everything needed some of the brain support that is some of the skull support so it includes totally 22 bones okay plus associated bones please remember okay then this vertebral column it consists of 32 to 34 bones please remember so why i am mentioning in the 32 to 34 approximate some of the uh, human being having the variations in the sacral and coxial of course you know that the last portion of the uh, bone segment is sacral and co coxial in the vertebral column in that particular thing is varied from each and every human's body size so that is why i am telling the approximate rate is 30 to 34 bones that is vertebral column bones and then this rib cages is 12 pairs 12 pairs of rib cages that is 24 bones it is in the sternum region okay so this is the count of axial bones okay so total count is 80 and what is the purpose of this 80 is skull required 22 vertebral column required 32 34 and rib cage is required 12 pairs so this is the thing coming under the axial bones and then appendicular bones so appendicular bone there are so many minor bones are there there are so many minor bone structures are there in this appendicular bone we can't able to count each and everything according to the body size and according to the uh, sex of the region the particular thing is maybe vary so this particular 126 is required there is no divisions of each and everything upper arm required this lower arm required this and all the other associated bones are required this all this 126 does not have any classification like this because of this is an axis of the bone here this is an associated bones along with the axis so all the 126 bones includes is, that is your shoulder griddle pelvic griddle upper and the lower arms okay there is no exact division of all these things okay so we are just hold the topics today so in this part we are going to discuss about the fresh unit skeletal system in that internal bones that is how many bones are there and what is the classification of bones and how many numbers of bones coming under the classification and what is the main function we discussed okay so in the next class we are just go the structure of the skeletal system we are just uh, draw the skeletal diagram and just mention the parts of each and every skeletal system and function of each and every parts of the system we are going to discuss tomorrow thank you very much